It's one thing for someone like me to slam MAGA nutjobs. It's something else to see an actual conservative Republican do it. On my show, the Beyond Politics podcast last week, check it out. It's not the Freedom Caucus. The Freedom Caucus has a lot of people in it. This is like 17 people within the Freedom Caucus. It's the mm. crazy caucus of the Freedom Caucus. So I'm watching CNN, God forbid, and... The anchors kept referring to these 17, 18, ended up by the third vote being 20 people as rebels. They're not rebels. Rebels tend to have a purpose and a cause. When you are disrupting for the sake of disrupting without purpose, you are useless. And considering you are the third highest ranking elected official in our federal government and you are disrupting to get your name heard, Lauren Boebert, I'm talking to you, because you are actually irrelevant and so you hunt for relevancy, you are not doing your job. You are elected to be a member of Congress, and they're just stirring the pot for fun to get the name out there and to be like, we crazy. We have the crazies with the crazies, and I think it's shameful. There's like 17 of them that are so extreme and so insane, and they're there for the wrong reasons, and they're making decisions for based on personal ego, not what's best for not only their own constituents, but the entire country. It drives me batty that people support them. Oh, they're the true conservatives. Look, conservatives are not opposed to law enforcement. Conservatives believe that democracy around the world is good for America and the world. Conservatives believe in helping other nations to share and support their own democracy against tyrants like Russia. These whack jobs get out there and say, I'm the true, you're not a true conservative. You are anything but conservative. You're a lunatic and you don't know what you stand for. You don't know what conservatism is. It's not a title. It's a philosophy that they right. don't hold.